as you can see, it's asymmetrical, so sound coming from the back or front will be filtered differently just because of the shape. So it comes in the ear canal and everyone knows their eardrum. Yeah. Um, and you know, the, the fun of the eardrum, especially when you're growing up and have ear aches and stuff like that. Yeah. But you can think of this as the diaphragm of a microphone. It's mm -hmm. it's there to pick up, you know, the, the different vibrations uh, that are coming in. And um, it it's uh, very critical in just capturing uh, the pressure variations. Right? The thing that I keep on coming back to understanding from the research you guys are doing is that that physical chain of hearing is like only half of the equation. That's correct. Yeah. That that I I I, I sort of understood that from 15 years of wearing hearing aids, but I really didn't understand it until talking to you guys. So talk me through that. How much work the brain is doing? Yeah, that's really where the exciting part is because if you take a look at when it's encoded and, and here's the nerve and you're getting all these neurons, now you have two ears, right? Mm -hmm. And it's encoding all this information and it's going into your brain and your brain is processing all this information that's being encoded to start understanding what's happening around you. Like who's talking and you know, from what distance, uh, what direction, right. what type of sound. And your brain has to basically separate all these sounds. Otherwise we just hear one continuous stream of data, right? And it has to break it all up and then create a perception for you of, of what you're hearing in that space.